Good. Everybody ready? It looks like it. Right? Warm up gently in and back. Side to side. Front, back, side, side. Just couple step each way, yeah? From back, side, side. Right. So now in head could actually bouncing up and down, up and down, or your legs. And now now feet together and we will do three short jumps and every fourth one nice and high. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. Going to rotate the hand using the hips. So you swing with the hips, swing with the hips. And use your legs, your hips, just to swing the arm properly, okay? Touch your shoulder as well and let's go reach. Keep your body straight as much as possible, okay? And then you'll start doing backwards and again every fourth one I want you to stop in the punch. The same like the last time. Every fourth one stay with the punch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, stop. Yes? Cool, side to side. And again, rotate the hips, rotate the hips, yeah? Rotate the hips. And again, long stance or short stance, fighting stance is up to you. You are going to touch the knee, touch the toe. Touch the knee, touch the toe. Like this. He's touching, slowly down. Grab behind your knees and stretch. Now touch your knees, stretch down and stretch back. Back this time we go circle down and stretch back like that. Now you go the other way, so down together and then we are doing circle up, okay? Down, circle up. Play with that a little bit, three feet together, position. Slowly, slowly touch the floor and go to push up position. You do the cobra and then the same way you walk backwards. So first we grab the knees like this from outside and we are going to Whatever we call this, this should be easy for all of you, really. As you get older, it gets harder, magically. So, next watch, basically the same, but this time I want you to practice this hands position. So, you can either always keep your thumb together and you want to do fingertips together like that, or you can do butterfly grip, which is basically this one side or the other side, depends if you are right handed or left handed. Yeah, or you can just grab your hand like this behind your knees this time. I prefer this one, but you can do whichever. Just make sure your thumbs are not sticking out, okay? And again, you're going to go back and here, back and sit down, okay? And times push your hips up like that, okay? Keep kick your heels as high as possible using the hips. Both feet facing forward, actually the front leg, make sure it's in kind of angle. In case you need to push from that leg, I will go back for some reason. Or go to the side is better to have it a bit angled than straight. Please, right, left, hook, nothing else. Right, leg, hook. And watch the legs, make sure it turns with each punch. Especially, especially the hook needs to turn the whole body there, instead of just the hand. Okay, so I go straight, straight, hook, and every time I go more relaxed and faster and faster, okay? So let's go, hands up, ready? Position, bend your knees, and itch, knee, sun. Good, and we will add the uppercut, punch, punch, hook, and now with uppercut, I slide forward as I do the uppercut, in a bit of the angle, okay? So I'm here, straight, straight, hook, like before, and now I'm coming down and do the uppercut. And work your whole body. I don't just want to see the hands, okay? The whole body must be moving. And as I do uppercuts, I can slightly down, and then like the wave, up, like that, yeah? Sun. Two, touch. 
trick? Yes. I'm going to go to the toilet. Okay. Basic, basic first, okay? From this position, I want to see just the punches as I come, okay? Ready? And focus on the move of your hip more than the punch. Your punch should be hopefully good enough already. Next slide, bend. And let's go each. Then, sun to kiss your face, stomach, groin on one count, okay? One, and stop each punch properly, okay? So you do with upper block, middle block, down block, okay? Face, stomach, groin. Hey, so good as I want to see this done properly, okay? Here, here, here. So we all know this combination, yeah? Just watch. Now make sure as I do that, I am not coming up with my toe, for example, as I come to Musubilaj, which is common mistake. Or common mistake is putting the heels out Watching from the side, putting the heels out as you come to uh, straight stance. So make sure you are more sliding and gripping the floor than putting the toes or the heels out. Yeah. On the grass, if you are in the garden, this might be a bit harder. But try to grip the floor. Yeah. Like that. So you are more sliding than going up and down. Yeah. So let's go with me. Hey, so kudach. Musubidach. Hey, kudach. Sanchin. Heels out, toes out. Shiko. Zain kutsu. And I cross shidachi. We all have the hands corresponding to that stance, which you know from the kata. Okay? So we start like this. Feet together. Musubidach. As we come to Heikodash, we do yoi position. Okay. Then short stance, I do this. Shikodash, I do this, for example. Or you might do that, or whichever, from the kata. Long stance, we do gekzai. Cut stance, we might do gekzai like me, for example. Yeah. And then you come to that starting position again. For example, okay, so we did gekzai like me. So upper watch, make sure you don't rush, okay? I need you clearly stop each technique before you go to another one. Then check your stance properly, if it's good. Do your block properly, okay? As you're punching, you are punching like this, it's way too narrow. Cool, when you punch, you should be punching a bit wider than the shoulders. A bit wider, this is not good, okay? Your last knuckle, this one, your middle finger, uh, how is called this finger? Index finger. The knuckle must be in the line with your shoulder. So you are actually punching with the other part a bit wider than the shoulders, yeah? Like this. After the block, you punch like that. Because in the bunkai, you punch from the side, you punch around the body like that. To the chest and to the back. Like this. So we're blocking and hitting. You do everything good, it's no problem. But as you're pulling, try to pull with your back muscles and with your stomach muscles. So as you pull, I see some power there instead of just pulling the hand by the side. And in Cezanne, for example, as well, you must have that feeling that you pull something with power with your stomach muscles and back muscles, not just your hands. Cool? You are here. And now watch, as I do this, this hand stays here, it doesn't come to Hikite. I come here. So I do check, tap the hand, and then I do quick uppercut. The hand stays here in the center. And as I kick, Shikodach, the hand comes from here with the elbow, yeah? And make sure you do this, kick and make sure you step straight. And then with the hips, you turn to Shikodach. Step hips to shin, but this applies to all of you. When you practice same chin, make sure after you do block one, block two, catch, and then this hand must pull all the way back to Hikita. Here is not enough as you hit. So we'll show from this angle if you can see. I do I imagine the punch is coming or somebody is pushing you and you want to check and bridge how we do in the classes. Block with two hands, okay? here then i catch that hand and i need to pull the hand quickly back as i dislocate the shoulder or the elbow 
Rohan, are you listening? Are you focused then, please? Remember, I know where you live, yeah? Don't, don't let me count there. Watch, check. Cool. So in Koronfa, as you come down here and you do this stuff, make sure the foot is not pointing the other way than you are attacking. If that makes sense. So when I want to attack with left hand, even my left leg needs to support my move. When I go to the right, the same thing applies, okay? So I need to be, if I'm like that, and I attack this way, forward, then half of my power goes that way, and half of my power goes that way. So everything must go the same direction. If that makes sense. Did you see me, Sophia, or not? One, and now, with my left side, all my left side is supporting my move. Now all my right side is supporting my move. Not like that. This applies to Ruby and Amy as well, yeah? So when I go to the right, all my right side must be coming in that direction. Okay? Super. Right. Um, yeah, so one I was taught, Sanchi, and it, it, it's that. And then you hold that, and then do that with power. But when Amy was doing it, she does it like at one moment uh, like like the bunkai is that yeah. is that what i should be doing it like quite quickly like that mm. the way i do it yeah i stop here and then it's the power down you close and power down it's dynamic tension okay it looks quite good good for competitions yeah yeah exactly so for the competition for example as soon as you come and but i suppose you don't need to stop so it's about the dynamic tension as you're coming down. So you tense yeah. as you come down. So if you want to stop, that's fine. But as soon as you want to come there and close and go, that's fine as well. Okay. All right, excellent. Thanks for that. Yeah. No. Right? Nice. Fist bump. Go well down to the guys. Go well down to the guys. Enjoy the weekend. I might see some of you. We'll stay in touch. <laughs> okay? Well done.